Kia ora, kamusta? Welcome to Australia! Today, we'll have a closer look at Queensland, specifically Brisbane area. So, when people refer to Greater Brisbane, they're actually referring to the five local government areas. So, that's the Morton Bay, um, and then you also have your Brisbane City, Ipswich, Logan Council, and Redland City. We'll have a closer look at Brisbane City, the Brisbane Local Council. Um, and then you could see there, there's the river, um, which divides north of the river and then south of the river. Um, you know, when you're trying to decide where you want to live or um, explore for a little while, um, I guess that's the first decision that you have to make. And it will depend, obviously, where you find work or where your kids are studying. Whether June, July, August are the winter months of Australia and comparing Brisbane to New Zealand winter, I feel that Brisbane is much milder, which I really welcome. I like how we have the cool breeze in the morning and I can still like enjoy activities outdoors, at least for me anyway. At night, it could potentially go as low as 2 degrees, but if you are from New Zealand, you're used to that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me as much. Um, winter outfits, I kind of put that <laughs> in the cupboard somewhere. I don't really wear like thick clothing um, compared to when we were living in Rotorua. Obviously, we still put our long sleeves, our thermals, if ever. Or if I'm going outside, I have my jacket on. Um, but but yeah, it's, it's, it's a much milder winter. Um, obviously, if you are going to move to a different state, say Victoria, or if you are going to Tasmania, then it might be a bit more cooler. Um, but for Brisbane, winter is milder compared to New Zealand. Now, September, October, November is spring. Um, around this time, you might see more rain. Um, there's heaps of news forecast before how bad the rainy seasons can be in Australia, specifically in Queensland. Um, just have a look at your um, flooding zones map um, for your own safety as well, just for your future reference. Um, but yeah, just know that there's thunderstorms and there'll be like storm warnings around that pretty much the same as new zealand anyway december january february that's the summer months and i guess um the uh, for me the warmest month is february as soon as feb comes in i could really feel the hot temperature the humidity which obviously if you're coming from Philippines to Australia, then that's well and good. You're used to the heat. Um, and because we were living in New Zealand for 10 years, I didn't really have a chance to go back to the Philippines. I'm so used to New Zealand weather. Um, having our first summer <laughs> in Brisbane was kind of really tough, but you know, nothing that you can't overcome because there's AC everywhere, you know, in the malls, and I work indoors as well, so I can't really complain. If anything, it'll just be the travel from home to work but cars have AC anyway, so um, yeah, just know that for me, I think February is the warmest. Soon enough, close your eyes, it'll be autumn <laughs> soon. So March, April, May are your autumn months, and I kind of like that weather as well as it's starting to become less warmer, not cooler. Notice I didn't say cooler as such, but it's less warm out of the four seasons if you watch my other videos autumn is my fo most favorite season just i just love the crisp color of autumn however in brisbane even during autumn the plants the trees they're still green and vibrant <laughs> Um, if you are living in Melbourne or Geelong, um, I've seen my friends' photos of that beautiful you know, changing of, of colors from summer to autumn, but just know that that's not the case in Brisbane. Um, overall, I will um, post that climate data information as well for Brisbane for your reference. If you are enjoying this video, then please hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you will know when I upload new videos just like this one. If you want to support the channel, then please click that super thanks icon at the bottom of this video or buy me a coffee by clicking the link below. All your help keeps the light on for this channel. Alternatively, a good thumbs up also goes a long way. Salamat po! 
When we were still living in New Zealand, I got a job offer from a private hospital south of the river. So when we were looking for a place to stay, we kind of centered um, south of the riverside. Um, and we actually found a nice little rental at Mount Gravatt. And it was a good distance to my workplace. And within the hospital grounds, there's also a candy for my daughter. They're separate um, company from the private hospital that I was working for. Um, however, it's so convenient to just drop my daughter there and then I could go to work. And then I, after I finish work, I can just collect my daughter. Um, my husband drives a little further, but it's still close to that CBD area. So being in Mount Gravatt was really handy for us. Speaking of childcare, just know that there are wait lists involved. So even in New Zealand, this is the same case. Um, you can't really get in as quickly as possible. So just know that each center may have a waiting list and it's not as easy to enroll in your preferred center. Plus, if you still have to sort out your childcare subsidy, you know that you may need to pay the full amount for a certain time before you can get your childcare subsidy, you know, provided that you meet the eligibility requirements. I have created a separate video about childcare subsidy and care for kids under five years old. So if you've missed that, then please click the link above. Now, unfortunately, the property market within Brisbane CBD, within that Brisbane local government area, is really rising and we were unable to afford a house within our budget um, in that local government area. So we've decided to look at the greater Brisbane area. So there's definitely more cheaper options in Ipswich Council, Logan City Council, and then Morton Bay Council. But I guess, again, it would depend on where your workplace is. And for me, I, got, I was fortunate enough that I was able to move to Morton Bay area where I got a job offer. And subsequently, we've got our first home. Um, and my husband also moved job closer to our new home. So it kind of worked out for us in the end. But I guess as a disclaimer, if you're looking at Queensland, if you're looking at the Brisbane city know that the house the property market is definitely rising at least from my point of view it is expensive um the number of houses for sale um, may also be limited depending on the suburb that you'd like to choose that depending on the suburb that you prefer and you know other i guess hot spot for queensland would be gold coast and sunshine coast um so property market in those area um is relatively high now in terms of wildlife i always get asked have you seen snakes spiders you know koalas kangaroos i don't know why we have this perception of australia and sharks as well <laughs> and and i kind of feel i was on the same thinking as well before moving to australia but we don't live in the outback so <laughs> we don't rare, we don't see kangaroos <laughs> jumping around the street so there's nothing like that at all you would like to move to a particular suburb say mount gravat they do have facebook group community so i kind of like that so you can check it out as well um good opportunity to meet your local neighbors maybe um, but just be mindful that there are scammers <laughs> all over so if you are looking for say a room to rent via facebook um i guess just be more extra cautious around that and although there are good people at, at marketplace you know selling secondhand products just double check as well because sometimes there there's still scammers in there um they'll put up a post for items they're selling um but you know they're not as trustworthy so just be mindful research stay level-headed we also have a Facebook group for Pinoy nurses moving from New Zealand to Australia and you're more than welcome to join. Food is great! You better check it out. I love the food here. <laughs> so many options, so much options. Um, especially if you like Asian cuisines, there's just like variety of Asian cuisines here. Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, Chinese, Indian, Filipino food, name it, they have it. I love it. And then at work, because I always think about work, it's also very multicultural as well, especially if you're working in a private hospital. Um, in New Zealand, at least in my experience, usually the bulk of international nurses are from UK, and then you'll have um, Indians and Filipinos, <laughs> or just everywhere. Um, but moving to Brisbane, there's people from South Africa, 
there's more European um, healthcare workers as well. And there's Chinese, there's South Korean, so it's very multicultural. Um, yeah. By the way, if you have kids, I'll share this website to you. It's called brisbanekids.com.au. And you can check out activities within the regions where the parks are. Um, that's what I like in Brisbane. Wherever you go, like in different suburbs, they have their almost their own world going on. They have their, um, I guess, their own hub where the gro- where they have groceries, their park. There's just park nearby. The toilets are not always available in these parks, especially if they're smaller. But I feel like if you have younger kids, um, you would really appreciate this. And um, when we were living in Mount Gravatt, you can almost have your own world within Mount Gravatt. Um, or maybe because I didn't really had a chance. I guess exploring surrounding areas but we have Westfields here so Westfield um, if you're Filipino Westfield is like the SM version in Australia Um, and there is a Westfield south of the river so there's one at Carindale and there's also Mount Gravatt Mount Gravatt is really beautiful Um, have a beautiful setup there I kind of like that Westfield Chermside I think that's the largest um, out of the three Wherever you go, like which suburb you go, they have, like I said, their own little world <laughs> going on right there. They would have woolies, coals, they would also have parks for the kids, things to do. They would have primary, secondary, um, state school. So it's, it's pretty livable and I guess um, accessible for um, people as well. So yeah, I thought I'll share. And then in terms of transportation, um, there's the bus, there's the train line. I'll put a map here on your screen for your reference as well. Um, I usually just drive if it's 20-30 minutes from home. Oh, that's the one thing that I have to adjust um, as well. Because in New Zealand, everything is within 10-15 to 15 minutes driving. And that's return, huh? <laughs> going to work and then going back home, it's like around only 15 minutes. Or if I have to... Um, shop for groceries it'll just be like 15 minutes max and we don't really have a big traffic as such um, but in Australia where I am living at the moment and where my work is it takes around 20 minutes and then if I have to drop my daughter off on her new child gear it it adds another 10 minutes because of the goodbyes and the hugs <laughs> but you know I just appreciate all of that it takes a little bit of getting used to um, I've mentioned in my other video before um, I <laughs> I got so confused with with I guess the, the driving directions because I thought when you miss the turn you can just like turn on the other side or the, the following street but especially in the Brisbane CBD area there are section where it's just one way and you have to drive a bit further um, in order to get back <laughs> to your I guess destination at least that was my experience anyway and where we are living the m1 is also easily accessible so but there was one time i didn't mean to go to m1 but i ended up going there so i was on the highway so i had to like find my exit so i can go back to our suburb but hey it's all uh, you know part of the experience of moving to a new country and ever so randomly if like me you finally decide to move to morton bay as well i thought i'll share you a map of morton bay regional council so let me just go a bit closer so you see this area here everton hills arana bunya albany creek brendale strat pine they're still reasonably close to the brisbane local government area so they're not they're not that far so imagine i guess imagine um rotorua and hamilton that's kind of kind of the distance um depending on traffic <laughs> obviously and then you also have bray park there london marumba downs um and then griffin mango hill kalangar and then you, going up further dakabin north lakes i like north lakes area this is actually my favorite um area and there is also closer to the ocean you have newport margate woody point there's also clontarf there and obviously red cliff keeper ring in the past 
um, the housing market here is around like um, you can still get like five hundred, six hundred thousand um, dollars, maybe before the pandemic. But after the pandemic, the property has also the property market has also increased. Um, so some of the friends that I know they've moved further up, um, Narangba, Burpengari, Deception Bay, um, um, and even Moray Field. Um, but I haven't really crossed Kabulcher as such. I haven't really gone that way just yet. Um, but so you can see how big Morton Bay area is. And that's actually being... I, I'm only mentioning, I guess, suburbs closer to the um, ocean, <laughs> kind of. Not really as far west. Um, I haven't explored that part yet. So when people say like Morton Bay, and if they're telling you, you know, they're, they're somewhere close to the... Uh, CBD area because there is an M1 route, um, so I, I feel um, they are most likely referring to these like suburbs this way. But again, at the moment the prices are increasing as well. Rental property is not too bad um, compared to CBD area, but obviously again it would depend on the specs as well of that property. I like to talk about property, I don't know, it's just like my thing. I'm not sure if you're interested, perhaps not. Um, but hey. I thought I'll mention it anyway. If you enjoyed watching this video, then share it. Share it to your friends and watch my other video, which YouTube thinks you will enjoy. As always, I wish you all the best with your journey and I hope you will be blessed. I'll see you soon. Bye!